Many years ago, our economy was based on manufacturing. Young people who weren't interested in geometry or physics could fall back on a career as a factory worker. Times have changed. Most good jobs now require some knowledge of science, technology, engineering, and math. For kids in middle school today, by the time they enter the job market, it will be nearly impossible to succeed without a good foundation in math and science. And technology is making the world smaller. If an employer can't find qualified workers in San Antonio or Syracuse, they can easily get what they need in Shanghai or Sydney. All of these countries are ahead of the U.S. in both math and science. How did we get here? And what does it mean for the future of our nation and our children? In November 2009, Time Warner Cable launched Connect a Million Minds, our initiative to connect young people with opportunities in science, technology, engineering, and math. As part of this initiative, we spoke to young people, parents, and teachers around the world in an effort to understand differences in the mindset between young Americans and teens in countries that rank above us in math and science. Here's what we heard: You want to achieve well in life, so you try your hardest at all the subjects, especially math and science, because they're pretty important. Math and science, they're like pretty cool subjects. Like you get to learn heaps of stuff about the world. And those two subjects will get you the furthest than any other subjects. People my age in Australia take it really competitively because they really want to do their absolute best. If we don't try hard in every subject, we probably won't do as well as we hope to. Students in China they have a desire to learn more. Math, physics, and chemistry are very important in Chinese education. I think math and science is、um, very important in our life, and it's everywhere around us. In my school. The top students are cool. Most people in the class get really good grades. No one gets average. I think we understand that we have to know things to you know get a good job. I'm interested in science and math. I think it will be a part of my job when I grow up. Outside of school, I basically just. Do homework and read for tests. People do have the social life. But those are prioritized to studying because they know that if they don't do it, they don't have a future. I hate math. I don't know why anybody would invent math. I don't see the point to it. I don't think it matters unless you're like a math major. I send about maybe 250 text messages a day. You're always texting someone, tweeting someone. I'm probably listening to a video on YouTube while doing my homework. It's very easy to stall. Probably reading a book at the same time. There's a lot of geeks at my school. They have math books. Some of my friends are like, "Oh, you like math?" People are surprised that I'm smart because I don't know. They're just usually surprised. Eighty percent of all jobs created in the next decade will require math and science skills. If we fail to acknowledge the importance of math and science, we fail our kids. We need our young people to take an interest in math and science now, so they are prepared for what lies ahead. Help inspire the next generation of problem solvers. Go to connectamillionminds.com to find out how.